My favorite kind of story to tell to young children are folk tales. Folk tales that have animals as the characters. And I often tweak the folk tales a little bit so that they convey a value that the parents or teachers want their children to learn. In the dusty fields and the hot jungles of the African Serengeti, Lion is king. Lion rules because he is strong and powerful. He is fast and he is loud. With his wonderful mane, he loves to roar. roar. And here's where you children can help me. Whenever I put my hands like that, you have to help the lion roar nice and loudly. Roar. One afternoon, Lion awoke from his nap, and the sun was still high and hot. Lion was thirsty. He had to have a drink of water. So he prowled down to the water wing hole. That is where all the animals go to drink on the Serengeti. When Lion arrived, a herd of elephants had been there and surrounded the watering hole. Now lion is big, but elephants, they are bigger than lions, right? They are huge. They are enormous. Was lion scared of the enormous elephants? Oh no. Lion was king. He was powerful. He just looked at those enormous elephants and he roared. I want a drink of water. Move away, you enormous elephants. And then he pushed and he shoved. He pushed and he shoved until he arrived at the edge of the watering hole. Well, the sun had been so very hot that all the water in the watering hole had dried up. It had evaporated. Lion had to prowl down to the river. Lying along the banks of the river were the crocodiles with their snapping jaws. Was Lion afraid of the snapping crocodiles? Oh no, he was mighty. He looked at them and he I want a drink of water. Move out of my way, you snapping crocodiles. And once again, he pushed and shoved. He pushed and he shoved till he came to the edge of the river. But the sun had been so very hot, hot, hot that even all the water in the river had evaporated. There is nothing but mud and you can't drink that. Lion had to have water. He, he looked here, he looked there. Finally he came to a little hole in the ground and there was some dark water at the bottom, a well. Lion could just about climb down to the bottom of the well and he saw buzzing on top of that dark water, a swarm of mosquitoes. Now mosquitoes are not big at all. They are teeny tiny. Do you think Lion was scared of the teeny tiny mosquitoes? <laughs> of course he wasn't. No, he looked at them and you know what he did. He roared. I want a drink of water. Move out of my way, you buzzing mosquitoes! But just then, a teeny tiny mosquito flew right up into Lion's face. No! What? Mosquito dared to say no to Lion, king of the jungle? Well, 
You have to admit, Lion was not asking nicely at all. But he was king. He made the rules. He didn't think he had to. He looked at those swarming mosquitoes, and once again, he roared. I said, move out of my way. And he was just about to push and shove and swat those mosquitoes away when that one teeny tiny mosquito came up again and did what mosquitoes do best. Him behind his ear. Ah! And then three of her friends came up from the swarm and prick, prick, prick underneath his chin. Aye! And more came up. They pricked him on his belly. Ah! And underneath his arms. Aye, aye, aye! Lion leapt out of the well and ran off. Lion, you see, couldn't get a drink of water until he learned how to ask nicely, how to say please and thank you. And instead of all that pushing and shoving, excuse me, right? That, my friends, is how Mosquito taught Lion good manners.